Okay, jumped. I'm coming to you from the Chabad Sukkah today, where uh, the Sukkah is going to house over 300 people on Friday night for Sushi in the Sukkah. Now, there's a story in the Tanakh, the prophets, that when the Jewish people came back, in the second Commonwealth with Ezra, after the destruction of the first temple being 70 years in Babylonia, they came back to Israel. And um, it says that Ezra gathered all the Jews together, there were 40,000 Jews that came. And he gathered them and he spoke to them and encouraged them. And then it says that he saw it says in the Torah about making a sukkah and they made a sukkah and there was great joy. It was a sukkah like they didn't make since the time of Joshua. Now, what does that mean? That there's no sukkot? It's for the Jewish community, all through the times of David and Solomon, beforehand the prophets, Samuel. It doesn't make sense. So the Gemara asked, the Talmud asks a question and answers. That doesn't mean they didn't have sukkahs then. The Rebbe gives the following perspective. He says, let us remember the this, this circumstance of this sukkah event. Ezra brings 40,000 Jews back to Israel, but they're not exactly the most pious Jews. These are Jews who were idolaters. They were, uh, didn't keep Shabbat. They, many of them had intermarried. And Ezra actually gives them some rebuke and speaks to them on Rosh Hashanah that year and says to them how they have to get back with the program. And, uh, and they all do tshuva, and they do. And then, now they're doing the sukkah again. So the sukkot of the thousand years during the time of the first temple and the tabernacle in Shiloh, etc., were sukkahs that people made because their father made a sukkah and their grandfather made a sukkah and so on. But here, they, they came back to it. They didn't do it. And they've come back to the mitzvah. And they put the effort in making the mitzvah. And this tells us something very interesting. So therefore, their, their joy was much greater than, than when you do something that you've always done. But when you put great effort, and it's, it's hard, and you have to push through, because it's not something you're used to, and then you do it, that's when the joy is greatest. It teaches us about happiness. Happiness doesn't come when things are easy. Happiness comes when we put effort in. And maybe that's why, you know, so caught you go, Jews are in Bunnings and uh, Home Depot in America, and you see people who have never been to these hardware stores coming, trying to figure out how to put a booth together for Sukkot. But maybe it's part of it. It's, we come out of our comfort zone. We put in effort, and that gives us the greatest joy. And Sukkot indeed is called the, the holiday of our rejoicing. This is a holiday that because we put in, um, we put into the holiday, we put in the effort of making the holiday, in building the sukkah, in getting the four species, in sitting maybe a little bit cooler, um, and not as comfortable as we'd like to be in the sukkah. Some days it's great, it's perfect. The sun is shining, we're in the shade, outdoor area, perfect. Sometimes it's raining or cold, and we're still there, regardless. It is those events, it is those circumstances and situations that actually bring, give us tremendous memories about our Yiddishkeit and give us joy, ah, satisfaction. I, I, I pushed through. I did something that was hard and I pushed through it. That gives you the greatest amounts of pleasure and joy. That's why Sukkot is the holiday of our rejoicing. Because it also comes after the Tshuva, Rosh Hashanah, and Yom Kippur, after returning. And therefore, doing the mitzvah in a greater and better way than we ever did it before, that what brings us joy. So, the Sukkot, come, participate. Go to make sure you're in a Sukkah. Make sure you shake from the Lul of an Esrik. Bring joy into your life. Bring joy into the family, your family's life. Bring joy into the Am Yisrael's life of Am Yisrael. May Hashem bring us all joy with the stopping of the, the need to have the war, with our, all our enemies eradicated, with the, and the coming of Mashiach. Get you